So welcome back to my channel. This is Linda Tay coming to you today with another video, girl. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do extra small box parting. Extra small box parting knotless box braids. These are red knotless box braids, and these going to be waist length. So, guys, um, the first step I like to do is, um, well, first of all, I ordered the hair from Amazon. It came in two days. It came eight packs of 26 inches. So, yeah, girl, that's about waist length, and she's kind of short, so it definitely fell waist length for her. Um, since I'm doing small, I'm pulling out just tiny pieces of braiding hair from the bundle, and I'm just going to section it out on this table. I end up sectioning about, yeah, about seven, eight packs um, of hair. Now guys, I did not use all eight packs. I used about six and a half packs of hair. So eight packs was too much to use, but guys, I will always rather have more hair than not enough hair, especially with some color like this, because it may not match the color if I need to go to the hair store. So it's always best to, you know, pick a brand that has enough, you know, enough hair in the pack. Okay, guys, so eight packs is perfect. I don't like when they have have like six packs because sometimes you need a little bit more than six packs. So guys, seven and eight packs are pretty much ideal for any size length, any size and length of knotless box braids, guys. So for one of the bundles, as you guys can see, it was like crimpled up. So when I pieced the hair out like that, it just came out kind of bend it, which kind of made the braids a little bend it a little bit, guys. So, uh, you know, you know, but hey, that's neither here nor there. It didn't mess up the style, but I did notice that it was bend it when I was braiding it into the hair. So I'm using the shiny jam to part and guys, I'm using the edge booster on the edge braids as well as her edges. I She didn't want edges, that many edges out guys. So I did very, 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 very light edges. So, yeah, that's basically what I did in regards to the products that I'm using, okay? To end everything, I did end everything with that Shana Jam Mousse as well as the Got To Be Glue Spray. I like to tie everything down, dip the ends, just kind of get everything good and ready to go. I love her. She always chooses, like, colors for her styles, and I just love it, girl. Like, let's keep this this color trend alive, right? She has blonde ends, guys. So you see that I definitely did tuck the hair. When I am adding braiding hair to the hair, I cannot tuck. But once I am done adding the hair to the desired thickness, I do start to tuck the hair beneath the braid, okay? So that's why you just see like black roots and everything else looks red. So she came to me kind of blown out, but not really. So guys, I just kind of went ahead and put some Tresemme heat protectant as well as some blue magic for the moisture and just blowed her hair out with this comb, guys. This, this blow dry with the comb attachment. Every, every, everything that I use will be in the description box below, guys. So don't you worry. Everything that I use will be in the description box below once again, okay? I did a light trim a light dusting after I did blow her hair out I decided to delete that out of the footage because I just felt like that was kind of pointless it wasn't really super detailed so whatever girl you know you guys don't need to see that so guys I'm doing extra small so I make sure that I'll do like a slim 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 parting space guys these braids took me about eight hours to do and yeah girl it took me about eight hours to do 
not too long, not too shabby, but girl, they, they feel like they took forever. I'm not even going to lie. But, um, yeah, it took eight hours to do. And like I said, with the extra small box sprays, you're going to want to make sure you do, you do a slim parting. As well as, you know, just kind of small boxes, if that makes sense, guys. When I do regular small, I do, when I do small, usually it's more like a small kind of medium size parting. Even though it's small braids, it's kind of like medium size parting, like small medium parting. When I do small. So extra small is going to be literally extra small. Super, super small box parting, guys. Um, use that shiny jam to kind of give a rough draft part. And then use that same shiny jam with the comb. And then you're going to make sure that all the part is pretty, pretty, you know, straight. All right. So I'm going to keep on going back and forth and trying to get everything straight, guys. Um, and then once I get it to the, you know, the desired straightness, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start to braid the hair. Now, I am left-handed, so I like to add hair from the left-hand side. And I do like to use this little watch right here to kind of put product on. I don't really use it too much, too much anymore. But, guys, I think it's really good to use, honestly, because the heat from your hand will heat up the product and make the product slippery. Okay, guys? So, putting it on this watch definitely, definitely, definitely helps. So yeah guys, I'm not going to ramble this entire video. I, this is just a video that I've been having sent on my SD card for the last three months that I have not basically uploaded. So I just wanted to go ahead and get this video uploaded. And so you guys can be able to see like me do these small knotless box braids and seeing how they turned out. As you guys can see, they turned out well. And right here, guys, you do see me tucking the hair, guys. That's basically all you do is put product on your hand, move their black hair behind the red hair every time you are braiding. And that will give it the tuck the look, okay? So it does look like, a, like I stated, it does look ombre at first. But then after I'm done adding hair... You know to the braid i will start to tuck her hair under here so right here um yeah i'm just go ahead and do the second braid guys i'm just adding hair adding hair adding hair and i'm just going to tuck her hair behind the braiding hair basically as you braid 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 when you see the hair is being exposed you're just going to rotate it towards the back of the braid okay guys so i'm just going to show you guys how i do basically most of her head and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was more so entertaining. It wasn't necessarily like a tutorial, but you guys can kind of see from start to finish me doing her hair. Um, I don't have the end clip, so when I dip the ends and everything, I don't know. Maybe my, um, maybe my storage ran out because this did take eight hours. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys still enjoyed this video you know still kind of looked at it like okay she is talented this looks really good so i'm going to give her a thumbs up for that okay but yeah girl <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video love you guys so much talk to y'all tomorrow in my next video love y'all bye